Hey everybody, it is new subscription time. Yes, so I've been not quite that happy lately with Ipsy, so I put it on hold because canceling is extremely difficult, so I heard. I'm prepared for that though, right? Prepared for that when it happens. Um, but I did put it on hold and um, I was talking about it like openly. And this brand, so it's called, it's Face Sugar, but if you want to look them up, they're called Shop Face Sugar, but I will definitely have their link below. So they reached out to me and they're like, hey, we're starting a brand new subscription. This is the first month that they make one. And we'd like for you to be an ambassador and, you know, promote our stuff. So I thought, well, hmm, let's look it up. I looked it up. There wasn't that that much on their website, but I was in contact with them and I had questions. Things that were important to me. Again, I'm not going to bring anything to all of you if I don't believe in it, right? So I asked, you know, are your products going to be cruelty free? They said yes. I said, are you always going to have full size products? They said yes. Because that was the deal. They are $12 a month, a little bit more than Ipsy. But again, there's a code down below. You can save a dollar. So it comes to $11. Yeah, I kind of get a little bit of extra kick for it. So if you don't use my code, don't. Whatever, up to you. Just telling you that there's a new player in town against Ipsy. And um, so far, I liked it. So, yes. Uh huh. There's a new player in the game. And so far, I'm liking it. I have seen the spoilers online. Simply because I'm in Canada. And Canada Post is on strike for. They've been for a while, so everything was really slow getting everywhere. So I did get to see a little bit of the spoilers online, and um, I really like what I'm seeing from the spoilers online. So let's just look at a few things I've gotten from Ipsy before, because I do know, you know, it's not a clickbait, all right? It is Ipsy versus the rest of the world, seriously. And I do want to apologize. I am learning how to do the lighting, um, and I'm also learning with my new camera. And today is just not that good of a day either. I am waiting for a call from the emergency dentist. Now I'm in Eastern Canada and whatnot, but this tooth here, it's cracked vertically and it hurts so bad. So waiting for the emergency dentist to come back. So if the phone rings, I'm definitely answering. But let's go look at a few things from Ipsy that I've gotten, which is why I feel, I'm not feeling Ipsy anymore. If you look back actually on the Facebook No Holds Barred page, you can see that each month I would actually, because I'm a nerd and I like doing that stuff, I would look up the value, like how much I'm getting, you know, per gram, per thing, and what the total value of the bag is. Towards what I paid for it, and it used to be like a difference of like $60, $70 value more than what I paid and now they're kind of I'm getting what I paid for and I'm also getting things twice so we are going to look at just two little things and they happen to be from the last bag I had with Ipsy so they're, they're this tiny thing okay tiny things sometimes work I've already explained more than once why I went out and bought the Tarte Amazonian Clay full-size setting powder because I got the small one in Ipsy but the small one on Ipsy, I mean, it was way bigger than this. This one happens to be from Ciate. It's a setting powder. Let's just say it's not translucent, okay? It ain't at all. And I don't even think it works. I don't, I don't know what they did with it, but it, it don't do nothing. Um, I've been using it to, like, set my eye primer and stuff. And my eyelids are so sticky when I'm done with it. So, it don't work. But it looks cute, right? Yeah. And then we have this little Nomad highlighter. So all the Nomad samples, because this is an eyeshadow, which is a beautiful color, by the way. Um, they all, all the Nomad samples come in the same size. Well, for an eyeshadow, that's not bad of a size. But for a highlighter, I'm not going to get my brush in there. Like, it's the size of a quarter. Like, like, really? Plus, again, I started my first Ipsy bag in January or February of 2018. I haven't even received 12 months of Ipsy bags, and I've already gotten this one twice. They're already giving me repeats, so 
No, I'm not feeling Ipsy. And again, I'm kind of over sample sizes. It, it, you can make this work in this sample size, but it's too much work that I want to put into. Let's just put it that way. I mean, pretty, but I mean, really, what brush is going to fit in there? So when Face Sugar was like, no, we're going to give you full sizes, three full size products, sometimes two, because again, the value is about $40, but usually three full size products for $12 a month, shipping and handling. Sure, let's go for this. So, now this is what it comes in. And one of the things I immediately noticed, because I have cut it open, all right, because me and sharp objects don't go well together. Um, not because I'm, I'm unsafe, just because I'm low vision and I tend to cut myself a lot, all right? Um, but one of the things I love and I noticed immediately is that, without showing my address, they have this fragile handle with care. Now I know we've all seen the videos of the postal workers just chucking things to the side. Um, was this chucked to the side or not? I don't know. I mean, I didn't follow the whole thing, you know. But the fact that they thought about it, that they realized that they are sending people, you know, full pallets, that there's makeup, you know, in a pallet that could potentially be destroyed before their consumers get it, they actually thought about that and put this label on there, 10 points, 10 points to you, Face Sugar. And, and yes, my whole life revolves around a system of, of points. Um, just ask all my exes. Um, so I do believe that might be why the shipping is a little bit higher than the Ipsy shipping was, because in Canadian dollars, I paid $23. A little bit more than I used to pay for Ipsy. When I paid for Ipsy, it was about roughly $19.50 to $20 Canadians for Ipsy. But I kept getting little sample things of stuff and this is full of products. So, but, but I do have to say that every once in a while, Ipsy gave me things that I really liked size-wise. I got a few to show you. The first one was this Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. This was the size and this is a really good sample size. I mean, I can use this. I can put my brush in it. It's not going to, you know, hit pan after four or five uses. So, so I was very happy with this particular Tarte one. But this was one of the extra ones where I had to pay extra money to get. So that's kind of bummer. Um, I'm really, really liking this Buxom lip gloss or lips something like that. Lip something. I don't know. As for size-wise, this is really, really good sample size. I mean, I've gotten other sample sizes like this big. You know, you can get a lot of use out of this. And again, I have so many lippies that this is a really good sample size for me to use. And this is a Winky Lux sample single. Again, the eyeshadow singles aren't that bad for sizes. This is, you know, this size, so it's not that bad. However, this particular one, I didn't review quite well when I first got it because I really, really only tried it for the first time today. And let me tell you, the fallout on this ain't worth it. So I'm super happy about the fact that I'm going to be getting like full size products. And again, I've seen a little bit of the spoilers, so I have an idea of what's going to be in there. Okay. So we're going to look in here, and as I turned around, I realized my computer is still on, and that's fine. And um, it's going to be 10 years since we lost the Rev, and um, I'm still not over that. So just, just let me more, okay? Thanks. Again, um, I, I talk in one of my other videos where um, I, I'm a mellow man. I don't want to say it in English, um, but I feel and live through music. A lot of people out there, you probably fall in this category where, you know, music does more than speak to you. It really, I mean, it's there as a therapy for many, many people. I'm the type of person that I really, really feel music. And when I discovered Avenged Sevenfold, it, it changed my life um, very much in a good way. And then we lost the rhythm and then I, I cried. I cried and I'm, I used to think I had a skewed view of, of what being famous was. And actually, I, I don't. I have a realistic view of what being famous is. 
Um, again, I don't post about my biological father. I don't even carry his last name because I don't want to. But he is kind of a big deal on Big Wheels, mostly around here. And um, I didn't want his name to help me get anywhere with this either. I wanted No Holds Barred to be all me, all done by me. So I didn't want to use that part. But I do remember as a little girl, you know, I go to his shows and sell his merch and people would tell me, oh my god, blah, blah, blah. I'm sitting there like, you know, looking at my stepmom, like, why do they think he's like this, you know, all this in a bag of chips, like he's the laziest fucker I've ever seen. And it's, it's true, you know. So, but then I did see him perform. And I mean, the person, and I quickly learned that the person that was in the ring performing was an act, it was a performance, it, it, it was not who he was at home. And I knew the difference, and I've always known the difference that someone that you see on TV, or an artist, or in a movie, or someone in a band, or whatnot, there are people just like everybody else. And, you know, that's not them, that's not exactly necessarily who they are as a person. So, my whole view on, on famous people is, you know, because I answered that question in core this morning. And, um, I'm getting the notifications because I did get my Michael Kors watch back. There will be another thing coming up with that because it was a horrible, horrible experience. But someone on Cora was, was asking if anybody knew, you know, exactly which, you know, bipolar disorder Kanye West and, and, you know, who gave him the diagnosis. And my answer was pretty much, do you know him personally? Because if you do, then ask him. And if you don't, it's none of your freaking business. Now, I choose to put my business out there when it comes to mental health and stuff because th this is what I'm choosing to do. But Kanye West, for an example, is not known because he has bipolar. He's known because he's a musical talent. Whether I like his music or not doesn't change the fact that he has talent, okay? And it's none of our business what he's been diagnosed with. Alright, moving on. Side note, sorry, was important. Let's get back to this. So it only has the 10 points for, you know, having the fragile handle with care. And I'm looking at it, I'm going to give it another 5 points for packaging. So it kind of looks like the Ipsy packaging that you always get, you know, the bubble wrap things. And it's light pink. So everybody that's used to getting Ipsy, you're used to getting a bright pink bag. This one's light pink, which is, to me, an easy indication to you when you look in your mailbox that you are getting your monthly subscription of some kind of makeup thing because it kind of looks like the Ipsy packaging but not quite not the same color so that's another five points on that if I look at this packaging quite closely um the description like the customs declaration actually has the names listed of every single thing that's in there which is also kind of cool but something went flying <laughs> Okay, this is the first thing that went flying out. Um, it is a crown brush, and it is listed on the front there. It says um, BK40 Oval Shadow. Now, again, I've seen this in the spoilers, and I know it's quite big. Like, this is the size of it. Can I do shadow on my eyes with this? Probably not. But, I mean, you can use whatever brush for whatever the heck you want to use it for, by the way. You can, you know, there's no set rule and it's really soft but dense enough that I think this would be a great under eye concealer brush that's what I'm going to use it for and I'll get back to you if it works well on that or not later but I think that's what I'm going to use it for because it's just way too big to do I mean let's just show you the nomad you know little sample of eyeshadow with the size of the brush um yeah it's too big for an eyeball, but you can use it on something else. I mean, again, there's no rules on makeup. You can do whatever the heck you want, by the way. Don't worry about what other people think of your makeup look. If you like it, it makes you happy, then you rock it. Walk out there and you rock it. Keep on going. There's a card in there. And eh, follow your dreams. Oh. Oh, it tells you the value. Look at that. It says December value $43 hmm I did look up the value of the things because I, I do I mean again I did kind of know what was in there 
And the value came to $40 in my calculation, so $3 off, am I mad about that? No. Um, most of the fact that their customs declaration tell you exactly what product you're getting in here, but they're not lying. I don't think they're allowed to lie when it comes to custom declarations, but don't quote me on that. So we already know that we have one full size product. A lot of you don't like getting brushes and then it's, it's like 50, 50, either you love getting brushes, which I do, or you, you hate it. But it also might be with the Ipsy thing that you keep getting the same ones over and over and over again. Same thing for black eyeliner. That's the biggest comment I would see in Ipsy, you know, when I follow them on Instagram is that, are you going to give me another black felt tip eyeliner again? Like, how many do, you know, I guess people are kind of tired of that. Um, so let's pull out everything else that's in there. So, full size palette. And, um, Kissable Matte Lip Gloss contains two pieces. Oh! So I'm actually getting four full size products. I did not know that. There's four of them in here. So that's why my calculations when I did them weren't the same as their little value card. Ah, well. So, I mean, if you want to get to this, I know you want to get to this, but we're going to get to this after. Save the best for last. Um, so this is from Koki Cosmetics. And I'm trying to open it without ripping the box, but that ain't going to happen. Okay. Let's just like go little eight-year-old child's Christmas. So we get two. I think they're the same color, but that's okay. Um, Koki Professional Kissable a Liquid Lipstick. Let me see here. So yes, I got the exact same color twice. And maybe it's because I'm an ambassador and they know it. So I can give one away to someone in a giveaway? Maybe? I mean, we could do that, right? Does anybody actually want anything? Um, so let's just swatch. Oh, that's nice and thick and creamy. It really is. Let's see if you can see that color pull up. I know, my lighting is not the best, okay? But it's snowing outside. It's a storm and I'm learning, but this is the color it comes out. So it's a very pretty peach color. And these days, um, peach is like the color. So what I'm gonna do is this one isn't open yet. So we're gonna put that aside for, you know, later. And I'm gonna try to put this one on. So I'll be right back. For those of you who don't know what the word opaque means, it means that there's not a lot of light that goes through. The color, there's a lot of color in it, that's what it means, by the way. And I haven't figured out yet if it's called a dofa applicator or a do foot. I don't know. But it's um, this little pointy thing, which makes it a little easy for the ones that you know don't have the proper color eyeliner. I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning. But it is a really nice color. It applies very, very well. Doesn't feel sticky or, or too dry. It's a really great, great formula. Glad I got two because one I can give it to. Somebody special? I don't, I don't know. It's going to be sitting there until then. So that's A plus. Um, so let's check out what we all want to look at. All right. We are at the part that everybody really wants to see. The palette, the full size nine shadow palette with a really nice sized mirror. It's made of cardboard, but it's that nice thick solid cardboard that closes with a magnetic closure. It's great. And there's the great colors. So see what I mean with the colors and then the lip look? It's like they thought about everything, everything going together. And yes, um, it does have the cruelty free bunny. So it's great, we all know that. And I feel like this is more like of an indie product because I've never really heard of this brand before Face Sugar sent me stuff. And um, that is an extra like 10 points plus like 10 bonus points for featuring indie brands. How else are we gonna discover indie brands? Like when you think about Ipsy, how many indie brands did you really get? I. 
didn't, I mean, there's a lot of things I had never really heard of, but they weren't indie brands. They were very established brands for the most part. But they're going to send me a full palette of a brand that, I mean, I've never heard any, any, exactly, I can't think of words. I've never heard anything about it. So, yeah. And this one over here. Now this one over here is another matte, and this one's a nice gold color, but these are three like glimmers, and then on the bottom there are three mattes. And you can tell, I think, if you look close enough, the glimmer particles or glitter, whatever they're made of, they're a little bit bigger, chunkier in these than in this one. This one's more of a pop of color. So let's try some swiping of the colors because I'm still, I'm still learning how to do that correctly, okay? We'll see with this camera. So, in my medical or bracelets in the way. So, all right. Can you get it? Can you get that pop of color from the gold? All right, that's awesome. One thing I can tell you is that it's pretty sturdy because I just dropped it, and it's still perfectly fine. So we're gonna go into the next, like you know, glimmer shimmer shades. So they're here in in the same order. So yeah, I mean, let's try to give it some good shade here. I had it. Um, yeah, so they definitely are nice glimmery. And there's a pop of color and it didn't take a lot. Like there wasn't a lot of pressure to pull them up. They're nice and creamy, very easily, it's not a word, very easily, you know, swiped and there's a reflection in there. That's super awesome. Let's go down to these other three mats. Okay, so we're going to look at these three mats on the bottom here. And this one here, Sunset, you're going to see how they all work well together. Because this one isn't that, that pigmented, which is great. Because it's kind of like you're blending of the crease color, mushing everything together. Because these two are your pops of color. So, here they are next to each other. See how Sunset isn't quite as dark as the other two? But yeah. And um, I, I understand that they're, they're crooked and, and not in a straight line. But again, please understand I have a hard time seeing things, okay? And I'm doing as much as I can until I can't see. And even at that, I think I want to keep going until I can't. I mean, why not? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. If I think I look cute, whatever. Um, so... My final words on this palette, yes, very, very good. I paid again $23 Canadian for all of this. I paid $25 Canadian just for this thing. And again, I think it's an indie brand, at least it's one that there's not a big buzz about. I love how that's in there. I love how, you know, it wasn't difficult to get anything from them. The only reason it took me so long to get something like I said before, is the fact that Canada Post had a strike. I can't control that. They can't control that either. I like that they have a little fragile handle with care on the bottom. I also love the fact that everything works together. You don't have a profile like with Ipsy where you put your hair color and, and all that kind of whatnot. Everybody kind of gets the same thing. But again, they're brand new. This is their first month. This is their first shot out there at, you know, establishing who they are, and I think they did a great, great job. There's nothing that I've received in any of this that kind of makes me go, uh, mm, mm I love every single thing. Did they deliver on their promise? Yes, very much so. Do I think we should give them more chances to try again for more months to come? Very much. I'm definitely going to be paying that money. And again, there's a code below. It's going to be copy-paste if you want to get my, my dollar off thing. Um, or I'm going to try to like embed it in somewhere in here. I think I can. I'm not too sure. Again, I don't have a high number of public followers. So it does limit me in my capabilities on YouTube as well as in Instagram. But I also understand that some people don't want to publicly, you know, because of the stigma and all that whatnot. So I'm cool with all that. I am very cool with the fact that I have a low number of public followers because I know that there's a lot of you that tune in and that come back day after day. And if you want to be anonymous, then that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I'm just saying that 
it holds me back from a few little easier things to get you guys the information, but we're gonna work around it, we'll be perfectly fine. So it's possible that it's it's popping up somewhere that you know it says click here and you can get my code. Or it's just gonna be in the description and just copy paste it into your web browser and then it'll bring you straight there. It gives you the dollar off to sign up. And just a little quick notice, I'm gonna help you all out. You can sign up for like a yearly subscription and then there's a second part that's $2.99 a month or $9.95 for the year where it kind of gives you like their VIP part, which I have signed up for. Because then all of the things, and then there's other, you know, products that are going to be available for sale through, you know, Face Sugar themselves at 50 to 70% off regular retail value. So, yes. Do I think this is worth it? Uh-huh. Again, it's their first shot at it. They're out there. They haven't built up their name yet to have a lot of, you know, big name brands, you know, to ask to put this all out, but they're also giving full-size products. So, was this a total win for their first try? In my opinion, heck yeah. Did they get 100 out of 100 points? Yeah, they get 100 out of 100 points plus 10 bonus points. Because I'm super happy and not disappointed whatsoever. So, am I done with Ipsy? After going all through this? Yeah, completely. I've got no reason to want to go back to those teeny little samples and oh no. I really like the fact that I'm getting full size things and I can just go put them in my collection and then you know yeah sure. More than that I don't have much else to say other than the fact that someone's outside with a jackhammer right now and we're in the middle of a snowstorm and this is Canada it's it's cold AF out there so what the fixing I got no clue but hey, people are weird can to say. Again, though, thanks to Face Sugar. Thanks for asking me if I want to take this adventure with you guys, because I definitely do. I mean, I wanted to from the get-go. There was a teeny wee bit of hesitancy, like, you know, is it going to be worth it? But now that I've got this in my hands, even though I saw the spoilers and I was pretty confident, but now that I've got them and I tried them all on, try no, I'm super happy. Can't wait until next month go on out there again. If you guys have any questions or whatnot, just just ask. If you want to, you know, subscribe, go. That'd be kind of cool. Um, notification if you want to, that'd also be cool. I don't have any set schedule for anything. I don't always talk about makeup either. Got a few other things that are coming along. They're all in there, so, and it's a deal. So, for everybody, thank you very much. Have a great rest of the week. If you're in my neck of the woods, let's hope there's not too much snow out there. I don't venture out that that much, so let's hope there's not. And for everybody else, I'm Megan. Have a great rest of the week. But other than that, go for it. Thanks for coming back. Please come back. And um, thanks to Face Sugar, because this is great.